Welcome in. We are uh, in the middle of testing. We've been testing for a little bit of time this morning. Uh, today we are actually testing, again, our new community movements. Um, we're also testing for the very first time the event cards. Uh, again, this is a lot of this is going to be scratch work here. So, you know, you won't be able to see everything as clear as you'd like. Um, but if you are tuning in, uh, please go ahead and ask us questions. If you like how things work, if you want to know more about the mechanics, um, we've already made a couple adjustments this morning. And we'll try to kind of give a little bit more detail than we would typically do when we're not streaming. Uh, but we're just going to get into it and, um, and continue to test as we normally would. Uh, so we might break here and there to write some notes, etc. But right now we're just going to get into it. So hopefully uh, uh, when people join in and watch, uh, we'll have our chat up. So just go ahead and send us anything if you have any questions. All right, you ready for this? Let's yeah. do it. All right, we've already flipped. Um, I've got a 10, he got a three. So now we are going to, do we cut? Oh, I don't think we've cut yet. We'll cut the decks and then we'll deliver some cards. So the events will appear, they will uh, throughout, well, 11, 12, 10, wow. 14. Look Whoa, that. look at these big Eight cards. And another 10. Holy moly. Well, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, let's see. Wow. Well, let me see what I got first and foremost. Yeah. Whoa. So, wow, that makes a difference. So this card is a little messed up. Um, do we have the board up? No, we don't. Hey, Josh. Wilson. Yes. You didn't put the board up. So nobody can, see, no one would be able to check in and see. Thank God, there's no one watching yet. Oh, there are. There's no one watching. Oh, there was. And then they gave up. Well, that's why they gave no, up. Yeah. <laughs> they gave up because they were like, "Well, we can't see anything." Oh, this looks great. Okay, there's the board. <laughs> Thank you, product producer. Um, All right. Well, you're about. I'm gonna put something over your face now. <laughs> great. That's what I've been waiting for. I'm trying to think. These are difficult. Difficult decision here. Um, oh, you know what? That's kind of interesting, too. All right, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Let's come back one. All right. Okay. And that's going to draw one. One draw. One draw up. Wow, another 11. How about Wait, that? He does not have a faction, actually. There's a faction underneath. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be covering. Oh, well, then I won't make that play. Yeah. Here, put this one back yeah. on the top. I didn't realize that. So we'll flip. We'll not take that one. It just looked like a faction was there. Yeah. Well, you want to double check just to be sure. Well, let's look. Because if all not, right. I'll move it over so it covers. Well, it. let's make sure that there's no faction on that that particular card. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is the the downside of uh, putting handmade, handmade yeah. uh, things. So this is a 13 or an 11? Uh, it's a 10, red 10. Uh, the red 10 has no faction. Okay. So let's see. You can fix that. That's fine. Uh, that will change just about everything in my concept because I believe um, – I could still technically go first. I'll just go first still. What What is that, a red? Yeah. I'll still go first. Yeah, that's and what And just take the 14. No greens, no grays. And, oh, uh, kind of want to do that. Let's see, minus one, minus three. Yeah, it is a high-valued card. So I think I'm going to play Obelisk Founders right now on it. Keep, yeah. keep that 14 protected. And um, just so those that uh, we don't have the other camera. No. Well, maybe it, when the producer comes back, maybe he'll give us a card cam. <laughs> so no. Obelisk Found is being played. That's just going to, that's a Edge Hunter to protect the card. Yep. Um, and 14 is still a pretty high value card. That was the end of turn. Yep. You're up. All right, well. Yeah, there's so many bad negative movements. And especially with that come that came out, this yeah. would have been really good with the protection on that one. And that would have been somewhat decent. 
Yeah, there's it's really awful moves. I don't know which move is good. Hmm. You tell me which move is actually good on this board right now. I do not see one. This one moves the 10 back to and the 12. This is off limits, yeah. right? This one would move you the 12, but no faction. And but you'd have to give me the 11. So you'd get a 10 points and minus 11 points you'd get. This one moves nothing, but would move the 10 back to and the 11. Yeah. This one moves the 10 and the 12. Wow. That's why I'm... This was the only logical move. Oh, yeah. That's why if I was going... If you told me to go first, I'm like, all I right, just I'll take that. I just, from my angle, that looked like it was yeah, yeah. a faction card. So what would you do? I guess the 10 is... I don't know. You have to... You That's a very difficult decision. But I will tell you, you got to make a, a move. We're testing, so does it yeah. really matter? Right now, this is an interesting test board because of how many high cards are out. You can already see that this particular um, community deck is just has extre more extremes to them. They're still, uh, the 16 is the highest positive and the negative seven is the highest negative, but there's a little, there's a quite a few more negatives and a quite a few more high valued cards and some without factions too. So make a call, man. Just make a decision and go with it or we'll be here all yeah. day. Um, I'll just do this, this here, that, and that. Oh, nice. That's, uh, thank you for that. One draw. He must have something to take. Or he just gave me a lot of points for no reason. I can't wait. We played a, a game, a test game earlier, that uh, we had five different events that took place, including one at the very end of the game that took that didn't quite change the balance, but it was a really close game, but that event card shook everything up. So we're hope, hopeful we'll see some, but it depends if Brandon actually decides to test or right. not. Are you gonna swap? Yeah, so we'll swap 12, and see, can I make the neutral? You no. can. Can you make it worse or better? Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know, can you? Or you can swap my 10 for a 10. Yeah, yeah that's fine, that's, I'll just keep this. Okay. Alright. Well, it didn't seem to improve much. Yeah. Especially that the purple came out with those Jeez. two. <laughs> Man. Man, these are bad. This we're just testing, but it's still hard not to to So that's a draw, a draw. Okay, finally we got some stuff going. All right, so now a faction. And in this case, oops, restoration. Um, is there anything good? It's not bad. I'll put skin worm on the board. Okay. All right, that doesn't do anything with Aqua. End of turn. Still no events. So you can cause some. Well, you can cause some. Yeah. Well, let's if you get I'm some draws. This and this. I'll give you the three back, and unfortunately, that's gonna go there. Okay. So that's a bunch of draws. There oh, we we two back-to-back -back events. Okay, so let's explain what these do. Um, hey, Josh, yeah. when you get a chance, we would like to do the card, the card cam. All right. Um, so we'll talk about the first one. The first one that came out was this, the black one. Yes. All right. It's not actually black, but so it's essentially called Epidemic, and the way that this is going to work is every new card that we're going to flip over a card and every new card that comes into the neutral area of this community is simply going to die upon. So any red, no more new reds. red cards are going to be killed. And that's for the entire game. This one is called Discovery. So it says, life has been discovered on a nearby planet causing major upheaval, uh, upheaval in many uh, communities. Uh, this, this has taken a toll on their pocketbooks and profits, particularly in religion in this case. But we're, what we're doing is we're testing the drawing of a card instead. Uh oh. I feel another event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think another event's about yeah, to happen. Yeah, that's interesting when you feel it. And you're yeah, and you know it's an event. So now, all the values of this community, well, let's make sure. Yeah, it's another event of this community. So all the values now of any entertainers are cut in half for the remainder of the game. 
And this event is riots. This is a really tough time, particularly had it been law yeah. enforcer. For whatever community this is, this is an instant. It kills all of this color, which is brown. So brown uh, dies, that card dies, and so this event So you lose ends. a three in the ten. I lose a three in the ten. So that's good that came out early. Yeah. You so have to put a card there just to make sure it's looking all right. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little dark. Mm -hmm. Looks good, though. Looks good. Hair dark. Uh -huh. We can keep that there just for the moment so we know where to place it. All right. So all right. I still have... Any play left? No, because those were my two draws. So I still have. I have you still have a play. Yep. Uh, so I still have to draw for those two. Yep. And okay. So this is a negative three with a lot of plus movements and a faction card. So. Yeah. Hmm. It's funny now. I don't want to risk Inventor with both of those down. So. I'll just do special delivery. Yeah, so that's an, an interesting side note to Inventor is it can end up kill. Well, why wouldn't you? Because well, really if I get a red, no more reds come out. That's true. If Entertain is not bad, but then if the other one that comes out where you have to pay for it. I mean, yeah, that's that's bad too. Inventor uh, can be a. But which is funny because now that means all these go. Yeah. Because those count in the row. So well, that worked out for you. End of turn. Another interesting one. There's no. Oh man. This one would have been nice. Um, well, you could remove all this found and just take that. No, nah, I'm taking this. Forget. I don't need to remove it because I remember you can still. Oh, yeah, it. you can still move it. Yep. So that would just go here and that would be done. Take the five. I take the five plus one. I take both of these plus two. Yeah. Um, but then I'll take the ten and I'll move it an extra plus one for my skin worm. That would create a, let's see here, we've got one draw. So we'll do that one. Okay. And that's only that's worth four. four. Yep. It's only worth four. And from this point on, the Great Shepherd is going to be on the board. Okay. So it killed cards, which is interesting combo. We will get to see with Two. Epidemic. Which sucks that the kill just came out, too. I know, that would have been great. But. Anyway, we are here, and there we go. All right, well. So one faction, which worth four points and does nothing. So it's but in stop, probably still the best play. Well, I don't know. The three's not bad. Yeah, because I can move some stuff, which is good. And uh, let's see. I think I'll do the three. I'll move that and this. And I'll look that up for you. Okay. Uh, no draws. Okay. Well, the three's not bad. The five actually doesn't do anything for me. So I will take this three. Okay. Because it does give me the four points here. And then you have to lose that four. Which one? Or move the ten back. No, uh, I don't have to lose anything. Oh, skin one, right. Skin worm, I don't have to. Yeah. Or I can just move the 10 back and move your 11 out. I'm thinking about it. Oh, I still have to move one anyway. So I will move that to there. And then, yeah, I won't do the black. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, I'll play uh, Pro Spotter. So I'm gonna kill one card on the board, that 11. Um, actually, I'll leave the 11. I'll kill your nine. All right. And then I will uh, draw one random afterlife card to its starting location. I will just go ahead and do that random one to there. Um, Gray Shepherd, by the way, you can't even see it on the screen, so probably should kind of put it right here for now, right next to these, so we can see it. So Great Shepherd allows me to place any kill card here or in that afterlife. This one is only I can control. So by doing that, it made that a random card and placed in my starting location. And then you can move one recruit and one loyalist up, and I will do that. 
and bank dot ten. Okay. So work out nicely. Still, I can't. Oh, anyway, I get the aqua restoration. Okay. Well. So what I should have done, knowing that, is should have done that. Then the restoration, I could have, I could have just ran. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's see if I win first of all. Seven, I do, and that means so I can. This is also killed. Yeah. Place it in my gray shepherd. All right. Because it's a seven, and I think there's there's just, some high in here, so I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to do risk. this. Yeah. Take the risk, but the seven is still good not to put in there. So in this case, I'm taking the risk for the high cards. I got an eight, so it's a little better. And that goes in my loyalist. All right. All right. End of turn, end of turn. Oof. Red is killed. Oh, yes, it is. That can go back into there. Another one has to come out, and it's a 14. Ooh. That's nice. This one. Yeah, I have to give you the five. I'm going to, I mean, for the 14, there's no blues. Well. So we have two events. The thing is, you can't really see the events. That's that's the only problem well, with the, no oh, spot What we could them. do is I could set the events over here so people can at least see that there's yeah. Yeah. things on the board, right? So let's do that. Because typically we put them above the board. And then if we get another one, I just place it on my side. Yeah, and so I'll just put my cards over here. The last card I played, I'll just put it on here. All right, so we have one draw. Red is killed. Another kill put With, on that deck. Okay. Wait, that's an eight. Yeah, Never mind. I'll put that there. Um, and faction. All right. Hmm. So right now on the board we have orange cards are worth half their value, and red cards are killed instantly if they're drawn to the board. All right, so I'm gonna go with kill in advance. I'm gonna kill the eight. I mean ten. Ah, I want to move my deck. Yep. Yours. Okay. And I'm gonna move my fourteen up. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'll turn and have to draw another one. Well, that's a nice faction. This is a good little one. Yeah. There's three of these in the game, by the way. So it moves It moves an orange plus one. I might as well take that. It moves a purple, purple plus one. Might as well bank that. And, and we'll if there was a blue, it would move it, but there isn't. It's still a decent card. And I'm going to move, because I need to do skin worm, I'll go ahead and move this. Well, actually, this is worth more than both of those, so I'll just bank that. All right, next up, oh, I like this card. I'm going to refaction, and I only have this one to play. So I'm refactioning Crow Spotter, which is great for me and bad for my opponent, because my opponent is going to lose one card on the board, goes to there. Then I'll flip between those cards. Place in its starting location. No. <laughs> Thank you, though. Good try. Uh, starting location is there. Then I can move one card plus one. At this point, that's the same difference. But if you get these cards, by the way, the half valued cards, didn't we determine if the half valued cards are yeah. in allies, they become their, their full value? So that was a kind of a shift. So they're all half value on the board. But if they are in here at the end of the game, they, they return to their normal value. So I've shifted him up, and I'll bank this one as my other one. So that is a really nice card. And now, Aqua. Yep. Aqua, we got an eight. I win that, so we kill that card. Um, with this case, I'm going to actually Probably place it there, idea. so I have a higher odds of getting the 10 or the 14. 14. So the Gray Shepherd's really paying off this time. It's hard to get him, unless he's early in the game, to be a real... You know, as legendary as you want, but right now he's playing it. Of course. Well, you're getting closer. I'm getting closer. <laughs> All right, so. Curse Spotter was played again, and now we have an end of turn card. And another. Oh, we have another event. Ooh. Taxation. So this one's tougher for me right now than him, but it's good that it's happening in this part of the game. Yeah. So what does taxation do? With. Now. In this case, we've written them as it only happens to corporation. We'll just say, with a community making so much money, the government has drastically increased the taxation on, corp on this community, much to their dismay. Move all of this community to opponent's recruits 
and all of the opponent's community from that community to your recruits. So it's basically inverting your cards. Yep. If you and right now the only one that would we both move is Green, and he only has two. So the answer is, and by the way, it can't be. Well, it could be this one, it, but we haven't determined if it can or cannot be. Well, let's see what happens because anyway. It's not a round effect. So black, so black. I have to give him both my three and, I don't have and my blacks. four to his recruits, and he doesn't have any, so I don't. I, I'm the one who got screwed in that. But again, three and four, it's not the worst thing that could have ever happened. All right, so we still have well, two, right. two to put on done. here. Yeah, and so this one is done. There, this one and the, law, the one we just had, the kill one, which we had, we had the, the riots and we had taxation. Those are instant done. All right, those are gone. So this one dies, I will place him in the big Are you sure about stock. that one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. And now we're good. We're back, back to square one. And we're still in round five. All right, well. There's not, not much really right now. So. I'll just do this, uh, move that out, move this up, and we'll move the eight back. Um, no draws from that. What we got? Mm. Okay. Okay, move your three back. This it's gonna be two draws. Okay. Two draws. And then we'll play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you move the round by the way? No. Uh, okay, well let's play Adamats. Alright. So we draw two. I draw one. I am first. All right, so Adamance has been played, okay. and now that means we. I draw two cards, he draws one, and then I play first. I'll go ahead and play sleight of hand first. All right. So I'm going to draw two more of my own cards, he and one of his. Mine. This is what I got, and this is a pretty easy choice. I will take that card, and then, although this one's really good, too. Mm. Not it's kind of late in the game for this one. I still, I still will keep it. All right, so discard your last rights, and I'll discard my no man's land. I discarded that, and now your turn to play one. All right, so I got uh, Echo Stripe, so I'm gonna draw three cards in the neutral area. That's a nice yeah. draw. Yeah, that, 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 and that. And there is one faction, but. It's not great. Not the greatest, not the but worst. I'll do it. So this goes to allies. Yep, that's going to your allies. And so is that two. Okay. All right, so um, did that six? It did not. Okay, so there's one draw, which dies. Dies. I'm guessing going yep. to mine. Okay. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and play Prisma. Take this 10. And in here was a 16. Yep. Those are going to allies. All right. And that 10 had a draw. Now I play. OK, so what to do? So this is a long adamance. Yeah. So I'll so just go I with. I still have a card to play. That's really funny. I'll just go with Mousetrap. Greens. All right. Okay. And that's it. Now it's my turn. Oh, this is done. And I'll just play the grub. So place up, face up, and round effect. At the end of each of your turns, draw one random community card and place it in recruits. If the grub is still on the board at the end of the game, draw two new cards to your it's recruits. It's a good thing I played mousetrap. So we're gonna place the new card here, and then end of turn. All right. Was that drawn out? Yeah. Then that that's killed. Oh, yep, it is. Just place that in there, just okay. in case. All right. Now, we 
you're up. No faction. No faction. Oh. Mm hmm. So what's interesting is we've had now four events take place. There are ten event cards in the game. We have had uh, taxation and riots, which are two immediate effect events. They happen and then they're gone. And then we have two, uh, we'll call them lasting effect events, that are essentially, right now, any, any card that's orange that's not in your allies is worth half, anywhere on the board. Yeah. Red card that comes out via draw is killed instantly and placed in the afterlife. That. Um, draw. Okay. End of turn. That is dead. He's killed. And yours, right? Nope. Not. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, well, that's interesting. I don't have any real good plays here. Yeah, two ones. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what could be. There's really no value in, in most of that. There's no. I don't see anything good. So I'm going to take this three. Okay. I'm going to push my orange up. All I'm right. going to move his seven back to the middle. All right. No draw. End of turn. And grub. Killed. Oh, nothing. All right, you're up. You know, it's funny is now this is negative one, isn't it? Or did we say that the Half negatives weren't? Negatives aren't going to be included. Okay. They're not worth, they're just worth their, their points. Um, it's a double draw, so yeah. if you won a faction in the last round. Oh, wait, I forgot. I, I, I have Skinworm, too, so I actually will bank that as my extra move. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Um, no, faction. No factions. What do you have to move the most points? Well, I don't know about moving the most points, but I think I'll just do this and bank this. Okay. Uh, plus get one gray, I'll take the six. My bad. And a purple? Uh, there is none. Nope. So, that's it. I did not get an under turn guard. Was there another draw? I don't know. There was no draw. draws. That was in the turn. Hmm. Well, I'll just take this then. Okay. So I'll take that, even if he dies. That's brown. Yep. Take so that. I'll take that brown. I'm going to move my six. You can bank that. On so two, so it's back go. to normal. He's going to be killed here. But he also has I can't a believe I didn't get for three rounds a faction. <laughs> That's very hard. So there's a draw there and yeah. an end of turn. And you got a faction if you want one. Oh, sorry. Oh, the grub. Oh, what? It doesn't matter. What? T I, I don't know which one. Technically, it would have been. Mm, I did it last time. I did that one, and then I drew because it says at the end of each of your turns. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. Yeah. I, I don't think it just. If you do it and place it in the middle, or you do it after the turn, right now when we say at the end of any of your turns, before or after the card, it just determines. you. If you flip it over to the middle, you can't say, well, oh, that's supposed to be here. Yeah. So I'm just going to be consistent. So we've been doing it here, and then I play it after the end. And, and that is the same for any one card that says at the end of your turns. As long as you're consistently placing it in that same spot, whether the turn has ended or you do your end of turn card first, yeah. we typically just... We would play it in, in tournament. We'd probably play it, and then the end of turn card would be it. But if you start playing it one way, just keep playing it throughout the game. Yeah. All right. Now, the grub, though, is not this card. I mean, the grub is mostly, but I don't think I get as big a benefit at the end of the game. I don't think. I'm going to check that while you're making your move. Yeah, we definitely changed that. I don't remember what well, he let's, is. Let's see what the grab actually uh, is, because I don't want to take advantage of that extra power. If I can help it. Oh, no, let's see if I get anything from The this. grub is, at the end of each of your turns, draw, if the grub is removed, draw two community cards and place an allies, if it's removed. Yeah, that's So what I, I don't get any bonus, which if you remove it, I get a, a heavy penalty. Okay, so that's one draw. 
And let's see what we get. Nothing good. Really a shame in that test game that I didn't have it because look, look what I had for the last f three rounds. I was just waiting <laughs> to play it. Nice. So drought caster, I would have been able to oh, yeah. get those. I was holding him until then. Yeah, so population control is not going to be good. Inventor, Inventor no. I can Allied soldier. either take the 9 or the Lord of Gentlemen, take the 8 and the 5, but then you get the 6. That's 7 points, so the 9 is better. Well, the 8 and the 5 is what? 26, 26 minus 6, 20, 20 points. versus 18. All right, we'll take that then. All right, we'll do that. Uh, do you care which six? <laughs> no, I'll take that one. Alright. And, um... End of turn. Yeah. Purple. Nope. Okay. Alright, so that's it for that, that game. Time is it. We got time for one more after this. Okay. Alright, so let's so, just count real quick. So we, we only had four events take place in that game, which is a it's shame. Still good. You don't it's want too many. No, nah, it would have been nice to... We want to see some crazy combinations <laughs> happening, though. That's the thing. One thing that was good is I was able to sh work out of my um, of all those oranges, so yeah. so it what this one was good with that. The yeah, it actually was great. And th what the events really do is they give you a chance to um, essentially work a whole nother strategy. But we're both fighting these events, so you're dealing with a third party now that's coming in and affecting the game. It's really really fun. As we said, it's probably these are removed for competitive matches, but just for playing, you know, amongst yourselves or wanting to kind of spice it up and learn some storyline and other things because we'll write these out and we'll see. Let's do a quick count so we can get busy with it. 14, 20, 20 28, 30, um, 40, 51, 60, 70, 84, okay. 90, 101, 110, 115, 112. 110. Really? Yeah. 112 to 110. Wow. I mean, these, <laughs> we, we, we spent a lot of time balancing these cards. Now, it's a funny because those faction cost me. I would have really had a better situation set up had I, had I been able to oh, yeah. get that one more faction. I had three rounds without a faction. Could have separated myself a little bit, but yeah. turned out, no. Oh, look. There's one on the bottom. Not that one, but it was. Yeah. All right, so that's a 112 to 110 test game with four events taking place and all new card movements. Not bad. Showing that, and Edge Hunter, uh, we're just going to keep, I might make a slight change to my deck just real quick, just to throw another legendary since I used the grub that time. Let me wipe the grub out. <laughs> And give myself a different one. We'll go with... Don't want to be too grubby. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay. And now we're going to see if we can throw some really crazy events in. Now we have... We're going to run this stream till about 11.15. So we'll have about 25 minutes to get this game done. So let's, without further ado, let's do that. Okay. You can cut the decks. Oops. Oh, there went an event. Oh, another Cards one. flying everywhere. Another event. Events. Oh, the events are creating all types That's of havoc events. on the board. All right. That one's an event. So let's get it mixed in there somewhere. We have no idea what events are coming, but hopefully what I'd like to see is some crazy events right off the bat. Let's see what happens. Okay. 11. 13. Oh, you Another beat me. good afterlife. Wow. Too early for that. All right. One, two, three, four. No events thus far. No events to start. Definitely some negatives there. All right. What will it be? Will you go first or second? All right. So, well, we got to make us, we got to speed through this one. Okay. Um, hmm. It's not bad this time. Neither of those. Oh, that's bad, actually. It's not as bad anyway. The two, negative two is probably the best option. Um, and I don't have anything really that I want to play, so I'll do that. And get okay. three draws out here. Ooh, negative seven. 
Ooh, the negative seven. End of turn. And a pretty darn good one, too, if it, just the green was out there. <laughs> but you can take the negative seven and the negative And the negative three. <laughs> that is a horrid card. Wow, that's bad. The nine isn't bad. Yeah. You'd have to bank your 12, but it is pretty good. The one is actually pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, it's not bad. This is, without banking your cards, that's probably what I'll do. So I'll do that and that, but it does move this back. I can there, do that, right? and there's no blues, no draws. So I'm up, and I'm definitely going to play right away, even if it costs me. I will play Drought Caster. Nice, Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> yeah, these aren't in my deck. <laughs> so let me shuffle these up. I'll still play that. I'm assuming that... Oh, are all those mine? Okay, so draw two random athletic cards. Place them in their start. Yeah, you can do that for me. All right, so Forgot the card cam. So this is what I played. I didn't use the remove. Yep, nothing to remove, but got a 13 and 11. Yeah, ah, stay up there. Here he goes. All right, so I just needed to get those before it was too late. Yeah, because if I drew an after I was going for it. Yeah, and a turn, you're up. All right, round two. Um, what have we got? Not much. Show me an event. Draw some cards. Well, it's, there's one draw. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best one either. I mean, move 13 out. But I don't want to do that because then you just give me the negative 7. Negative 7 is awful. Well, actually, right now... That looks good, but it's still it's, awful. I mean, I have to take both of these, but taking that... Yeah, is, But then ahead. you could just do that. So it's, That's why I said it's awful. Exactly. It is uh, an awful card. That negative seven is never going to be easy to play, I don't think. Not unless it... Because you know how those cards negative are. cards are. They're almost worth... I mean, in a way, you it's hard because once you have that, you're starting from behind, and they always come back to bite you, those little negatives. Yeah. They always bite you. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Make a move. There's just nothing good. Though. Then take something bad. <laughs> That's basically your, your options. Take the four. Draw a card and yeah, get my 13 out. If I'm taking it, I'm going to take it with that. Just take the negative. I would love for you to do it. Yeah. Because I have a great counter. You have a great counter? <laughs> yeah, to you moving it to where it has to go. So, uh, okay. So I would love, I'd love you to take it. Do I want to take this? Not really. Well, there's no good move. So. Yeah. So let's get this off the board at least. And no blacks. And draw. And a turn. Oh, there you go. Blight. Uh-oh. A new strain of influenza, which mutated in the wastelands to a deadly blight, unlike any seen in hundreds of years. This has directly hit the religion brown community. religion community. Oh, bad for you. Yeah. Um, all those cards are now frozen in place until the end of the game, except for any that appear in the neutral area. They can still be moved. And um, they will, let's see, these can still be moved, but will freeze after they enter that side of the board. All cards with the same value in those rows are killed. Which so, doesn't kill anything. Doesn't kill anything yet, but as you see, Blight is a real nasty one. So, at this point, because right now the way we're playing these, they're not non removable. Okay, so whatever happens, happens. So, right now, till the end of the game, all religion cards are frozen. They can't be moved except from here. So you can still take them as neutral cards. But any six that lands in this row, any ten that lands in that row, and any that may... If I take this card now to one of these areas, which I could do, uh, that would be bad for me too. Because then I'd be killing. So right now, uh, that's not... Do we have any... Oh, there's still a draw, because that was supposed to yeah, be... Yeah, end of turn. End of turn. All right. So that's a brown movement. That's a really... They're frozen except for these, so I'd have to take the three. I don't want that. There is a faction. I think I'm going to take it, actually, even if I don't want it, because I can take this eight. I'll have to take, take the that. three, yep. and then you but I can take the four and the bank my 13, yep. right? That's a terrible card, except with what I have in my hand which is my objective, because now I can play Gathering Storm, kill one random recruit, which I'll do. 
hope for hopefully the 12 and then draw it I'll just draw whatever it is to my recruits so oh kill my six for me dang now it's frozen there and it kills sixes <laughs> That's, yeah. that was the only thing that was bad for me all right that was awful all right uh, you're up well oh good I can't move <laughs> you have to take the three all right, yeah, so well, bl Blight's already causing problems. Uh, it killed all threes in that row, basically. Yeah. So I'm in trouble with this six. So now you got to start thinking, okay, do you have a kill or recruit? You might want to kill your own card to get it out of the row. Yeah, actually, actually. So it's a completely different ball game than it was before because now tens and threes will die on his, those rows and sixes are dying on this row. And uh, who knows? I mean, the thing is, the more events that start occurring, the harder it becomes to manage where you are and how you're going to do it. So it's, it's a lot of fun when we have a lot of them come out. All right, so I'll go kill in the store, kill the 11. There you go. Okay. Uh, in a turn. I went first. Okay, yep. Well, that does nothing bad to me, the 9. If there's a blue I'd have to send you. I can't yep. do any of those, but I'd have to send you. No, I can just move your 12, 12 or my 8. Yeah. I like that 13 a little bit better. Yeah. This one is not bad, but it doesn't do anything and it puts it in this row. So I'm going to take this. Okay. This goes back. And then or I'm going to move my 8 okay. back. Move yep. my 8 back. And then, no, uh, this blue comes to you, which is that's fine. It. That's it. All right. Now. I will play this card. Okay. Well, I kind of want to play this card. Ah, <laughs> I think I will just play Inventor. See okay. what happens. Yeah. Let's hope it's not brown. Oh. Whew. Orange, I'll take that. Brown, now see Inventor suddenly. Oh, we have a discovery. This is one where life has been discovered and it's causing problems in this community because it's really, we'll probably have to rewrite this one because it's really designed for religion. But basically, from this point on, this card has half value. Blacks. Black cards are worth half as much as they normally are unless they get in your allies' row. So we saw that last game. Oh, and there it Speaking comes. Of. Speaking of the devil, it's a six now. All right. Well, it looks like the nine is your best option. And it's round four, isn't it? Yep, round four, my bad. And you can have your one back, I guess. Thank you. Can't move any browns. That's a draw. All right, well. We're gonna do banishment. So I'm gonna draw two more. To the okay. neutral area. And let's see. Ooh. Hmm. It's funny because I can kind of swap the 10 out but, you know, getting other 10s in there is... Well, that's your, yeah. your well, problem. Well, this is going to happen. Either okay. Way. Um, now you got to swap the 9 for something. Well, Only one for mine. Yeah. Um, so I'll probably... Swap with the 3. That's what I was thinking about. I would but think... Then, or you can swap with the 2. It's only yeah. worth one. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'll just do that. Okay. All right. There we go. Hmm. That's 13 still, still pretty still uh, decent. So. Moving the nine then. Yeah. And then there's the blue. The one back. The guy who <laughs> keeps going everywhere. All right. Uh, yep. He's not bad for you either, but. Okay, but now, ooh, skinworm. Mm. All right, and a turn. Oh, we have another event, inflation. You know what we should do though? We should make like, um, we should do maybe one that's positive, like doubles the value or times two in a card. So this one is, um, this community has gone way up in their prices because the demand has become insatiable. If you want their services, you must pay a price. Anytime a green card is moved to your side of the board, you must pay from your side of the board to the neutral area. 
you must pay half that value. So if I move this five here, in this case, I can pay, I have to pay three. a three, because you have to round up in this case. So either you pay three, or you pay, or you have to kill the card. That's how that works. So we got three ongoing events. Oh, and right. that is, which one did I take this? So I haven't, I haven't paid yet, did we draw? I played that, and that was the end of turn, so one more. All right, now you're up. Okay. Round six. So greens, um, yeah, I think, didn't we decide though that, could, I, could they, but, well, we haven't seen it happen yet. We need to wait for it. We want to test to see if like brown came out twice. Mm, yeah. Would, could it be a half price and killing cards? You know, it, I suppose I mean, it could. Because then you just don't have to worry but about it. But some might conflict, so we need to yeah. we need to sort through that, figure that out. But we, right, well, this I'm is requiring some testing. Gonna right. go for this. Okay. Take the seven for some draws. Move that up and this up. Okay. Uh, two draws. Brown and purple. Yep. Only blight takes effect with a nine. But, okay. Which and. Which would be interesting. I could scoot that nine to you and kill your nine. Possibly. Hmm. I don't have much. So, um, if you're going to give me that nine, I'll just find some faith with it. Okay. You said I'm going to give it to you. You kind of just did. I'm not giving you that. <laughs> no way, man. I'm because I'm gonna take it <laughs> and kill my own. Um, yeah. I think I can take this purple. One, yeah. I'll take the purple. Thank my thirteen and move, move the, the nine up. I take the two. I need some points. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then this one I will take your seven. Yeah. Up. Okay. And take the seven. One more for my skin worm. Or move the two to here. Or move the two to there. So I think the, my first decision is good. Terraforma. Okay. And. Draw again. Yep. It's too late for that card. Hmm. It's a shame. Let's try the last drop one. Okay. All right, so this one was really easy. If it's five or less, I get a card, I give you a card if it's greater than, if six or greater. So it's a five or less. Oh yeah, you draw three? I draw oh. one to here, oh. so I get a card. Oh, that, okay, I'm thinking of another I'm one. gonna draw one to here. It, whatever this is, if it's a five or less, I get two more cards here. Hmm. If it is a six or greater, I have to give you one from the neutral area. And of course, of course it's another event, and this is a bad event. Yeah. I think we have to complete this card before that can take place. I, I, would, I would agree with so, that. So, that, so we have to complete the card, so this time... Negative one. It's so, a negative one. So you wait, get... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's read the rule, because I want to see if I can place it in your recruits. That's, that's a big difference, right? Can I do that? So, because it's not on... This is one of the rare ones. All right, here we go. So last drop says, draw one from your card and place in recruits, so I can place it on you. Okay. All right, so that actually is worth half its value, which it doesn't count. So it's so still negative it's one. Negative one still. So now, because it's negative one, it is less than five. I get two new cards to mine. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna get this, but I'll do that after the riot. So now is the trouble time. So riot is going to kill pretty much what it says. Several critical changes to laws have sent the populace over the edge, and riots have erupted. Many in this community have been killed in the fight. Hey, interesting for brown to come out because then it counteracts the blight. It does. But let's see what it is. It is orange. orange. Oh, and we no. already ha we didn't have orange. So all orange are dead. That kills my nine. Hey, we both lost the same there. And you lost, yeah. And you lost nine. And then nine. this five comes out. Okay. Yeah, so all of those died, which is interesting because I had the orange inventor too. Now, we're going to finish up the terraforma. That's a ten. That's a great one for me. Uh, okay, so we're going to place, draw that card, place in the neutral. And then I get to draw one card to allies. Two allies. So I'm going to draw a card. And that's a two. I might as well take it. <laughs> Not a great one, but it is what it is. All right. End of turn. And we're in round seven. We have eight minutes to finish this game. So let's All do right, it. All right. So 
So this one's gone. By the way, this orange also is killed here, and we remove riots from the game. Okay. That is an instant kill one. Uh, yes, Chris can catch the last two rounds. Um, so so I would have to pay for the five. Yeah, okay. so right now we have inflation on the board. So that means if he takes a five, he has to pay half price for that, which was rounded up with inflation. Discovery, all rounds are killing any in the row, which you haven't checked out that oh, the yeah. six should be dead. Okay. Yeah. So the six should have been killed. And then Blight is based, that's what that one just did. Yeah. And then Discovery is half pricing the uh, all the black, black. cards. Yep. Yeah. So I'll take this. Um, take the nine. I'll move this out, and I have to pay for that with the one. Okay, so two draws, negative four and a negative one. Ooh. And uh, hmm, interesting. I'll just go ahead and play Prisma now. Okay. Take the twelve and my eleven back. Okay. All right. Nice. End of turn. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leverage a card for myself um, just because I wanna do it. Um, I'm gonna take, well actually, they're not all that good. I kinda wanna do it just to do it. So I'm gonna take the negative four, even if it's a terrible play. There's no not oranges on the, on the board, but I'm gonna take the 12, one, two to here. I'm gonna move, move the nine up. to one plus one, which kills it. Yep. Right, and the grays. I got it uh, here. I'll just take this one because I need some points after that terrible move. All right, then I'm gonna draw a card. So what I did is the nine killed the nine. I could have taken the twelve all the way to me, but I just decided, ah, let's use the uh, use it, mm -hmm. use this, and see what happens. All right, so this is really crazy. Um, this would be an insane move if it worked out. I think I want to do it because again. White Ash. Hmm. All right, so this one, I'm going to draw another faction. Do I have to? Or is it just says reveal and randomly select one of your faction cards from your hand? So when I do that, I'd only have three cards. Hmm. So do I draw another what one? Do we, well, I don't know if we change we that. It? I don't know. Let's see. Um, white uh, Skin uh, blah, 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 Prophecy. prophecy. Yeah. Place face down a round effect. Before any of your future faction plays, reveal and randomly select one card from your hand and play it twice if the faction card or is copied effect. So we didn't say that you draw another one, but well, you would think you you'd have to. Well, because, yeah, it could be for any future. So you should. I, I, I think, think it has to draw. to have four in your hand. Yeah, so we have to do that. So I don't even know what it is. So let's see what happens. I get to play whatever it is twice. You can pick it for mm -hmm. me. What do we got? <laughs> oh, it's very strange. Two gray shepherds. Nice. So okay, I didn't use her as a. She's well, a, no, because didn't we? Yeah, didn't we say you can rule. only have one? So yeah. what does that do? So the prophecy is discarded. So gray shepherds played, there. Yeah. So gray shepherds there. Prophecy is played. That's the only card I did not want. I cannot <laughs> believe I got that card. Darn it. <clears throat> I have a much better card. Oh, but the gray shepherd is played twice. And that gives me one, two, three, because she has one, too, right? Because I'd play it twice. Well, I guess you would play it, and then it would, it would be immediately Right, removed. so there'd be three. So we get three terraformers here, actually. Okay. One, I win. So it's eight, so it's... So I get, a, in this case, I draw two loyalists. Loyalist. Okay. Um, right, and so then, then another in. one. A ten. Okay. This so time, draw I draw to allies. Oh. Ooh. We'll do this at the end of this process. I, I, oh, this one might happen right away. Yeah. This one still has to finish this one, yeah. though, to allies. Ooh, okay. Expansion. Both players draw two faction cards immediately. So we have another one that comes into play. All right, so I'm going to draw two. It doesn't matter for me right now. But for the last round, it's interesting. Then I do the last one, which is a seven. Again, I win to the loyalist. So eight. So in general, it wasn't the worst play in the world. So then there's an end of turn, and we're in the last round, and I got three minutes, so let's do it. All right, so. <clears throat> that was crazy, actually. Yeah. And what's really sad is, is both that, of those, those were framed, and for the inventor. That, yeah. I'm so 
distraught. Okay. Well, I guess... Yeah, I gotta do this. Do it. Alright, so I'll take 10, my 12 back, and my 7 back. Pretty uh, good. One draw. Yep. Okay. And I think... Uh, that's not great. Especially... We'll play it because so, I have well, two if minutes. I did community guardian and then I get the blacks, that's gonna be oh, it's bad. gonna be bad. But um, you don't have anything for allied, so I mean, might really. as well just do it. Do so, it, so. community guardian. It is. All right, draw two more. Black, come on, black. Uh, yes, a black. you got a black and a and blue. negative six. So, you so have I a could choice. take that and counter it. But let's, well, let's see, it's 13, 19, 18. So I could. You have to pay nine. Could get that out. You could actually. <laughs> Um, a fifteen. That was pretty good. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do it. So, if only I had a card that could. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So right now yeah. he is absolutely destroying me. I don't know about. Mm. Well, you have so many high cards. Yeah, but we're gonna see what this is gonna this be. A really be interesting. interesting ending. <clears throat> okay, so one draw. Yep. End of turn. Oh, look at that negative, negative five. five. There That's you a go. plus three black. I could just simply take all those out and or not you take, just them. take them all. No. <laughs> plus one orange and plus three gray. Wow. Wow, that kind of changes everything. I was going to play something completely different. Oh, this I have to take, don't I? Two draws. Oh, not drawn? The end of turn? No, this was. Well, no, that, was, that was a draw. That was a draw. And then the end of turn. So yep. I should, so two more cards. All right, here you go. Not that I need more decisions to go on. But more greens if you want oh, God. to pay for them. <laughs> well, I'm going to take this anyway. Uh, I don't have to pay yeah, for it. Yeah, because it's a negative. I will take um, both of these to my side. I would have to pay, what, 13? No, I'm going to just take them out. Yeah. Because it's actually better for me to do that. The gray, I have this, so I can just take it, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. And then I have you know, too orange. Bad. I'm going to take your 10 with skin worm. One, two. Okay. But if, you know, it would have been great if had those gone to loyalist with the Finding Faith. That would have been great. I don't have time, so we're going to just go with Ruin Watch, even oh. though I was going to do Risk. And then at the very end with all, all those points, but I got him out with that card. Yeah. So we'll do Ruin Watch. Ruin Watch is going to bring everything back to the board. I didn't even use the Great Shepherd, and I will give myself the nine, and you the negative two, okay. and give myself another nine, give me the and you the six, because I would kill my six, yep. right? Yep. And then me the seven, and with an odd, but there is no odd. You get yep. that. All, All right. right. Done. And I get an extra five from Finding Faith. Is there a five? There is. Here we go. All right, so let's do this. Count them up. I have Damn. so many negative points. It's ridiculous. It's going to be horrible. That was very interesting. Um, did you have any black cards? I think I got rid of... You had some blacks. Oh, wait. He was in allies. So. But the other black? Uh, you had a three. Yeah. You had one that was in that row. I think the three. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's count that. up and see. There's a ton. This is crazy ending there. Oh, God, I got negatives, too. 20. Yeah, look at these, though. Not like me. <laughs> Not like me. This, These negatives um, are crazy, so crazy. Look, 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 at <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That is 10. Well, I've had multiple games where it's negative 16. Yes. 10, 15, 20, negative 22. I, I took all the negatives. Negative 22 points, which is basically 30. most of my points. Um, so let's see. Finish this and then we'll subtract it. 10, 20, 30, yep. okay. 40. Uh, I have any denomination here that I can get? 50. Um, All right, so we got yeah, 50 here. I wasn't expecting much. That's 70. Yeah. Plus 24. Hold on, wait. Plus 24 is uh, 94. Plus 7 is 101, 102, 103, uh, 116, minus 
22. So 116 minus 22. Hmm. 94. Yeah. What'd you have? To 78. 94.78. But really awesome. So thanks for joining us. I got to run. Oh, wait, before you do. Peace Get out. Hey, <laughs> check us out. Subscribe. Do whatever. Do we, it all. Do it Just all. Give us a call. I'm out.